All right, in this video, I'm going to cover fairly quickly a problem you may encounter with your mower, especially at the, the start of the season. So before I waste, I don't want to waste anyone's time, the solution here is actually going to be the battery. But I'm going to give you over what the problem is. So you go to use your mower first time of the season, and your mower doesn't start. So well, I'll jump start the mower. You jump start the mower. The mower runs to on the mow the yard, and I'll replace the battery later on. You go to try to engage your blades. Now, this is obviously going to apply the ones that use a switch style, an electric style PTO engagement, which uses a magnet a clutch, not your manual lever style. And you go to engage that blade. Maybe the blades start up, maybe they don't, but if they do start up, you start mowing and your mower starts to immediately die. It just wants to almost like stall out. You turn your blades off, you, you turn your blades off, your mower picks back up, starts running normal. You try to engage your blades again, the same thing happens. It starts to bog, almost like uh, the fuel's being cut to it. Well, the problem is, is your battery is toasted. So this electric magnetic clutch requires a, a supply of voltage to keep closed and to work. And when that battery is dead, um, your stator, which is kind of like what an alternator is, they don't generate a whole lot of amps, but they generate enough current to replace the juice in the battery from every time you start it, power your headlights if you have lights, and also supply voltage to that uh, PTO electric engagement clutch. Uh, now, and it also provides voltage for many mowers like this one, has a solenoid on the carburetor, an anti-backfire solenoid, which when voltage is cut to it, it shuts closed and prevents fuel from being drawn to the carburetor as the mower is being turned off to try to reduce backfiring events. Um, of course, you obviously have your spark plugs, but your ignition system on most mowers um, do not rely on the battery. They are, are magneto style, so they don't even need a battery to run. They're magneto ignition coil, same as like you would have on a push mower. Most of your ride along mowers also use magneto style ignition coils. So the solution is to replace the battery. Now, one of the things I noticed with the really weird behavior is they got my multimeter out. Now, a non-running, a 100% 12-volt battery is 12.6 volts. At 12 volts, just 12 volts, 0 .00, that's actually a 50% battery. 12.6 is a 100% battery. But when I noticed with it running, it was putting out some crazy voltage of like between 18 to 20 volts, which is really high, when it should probably be around more like 14. So we'll say a range between around 13 volts to 15 volts with it running. But it's still around 18, 19, 20, pretty erratically. It's a really high voltage. Probably with time, it could probably burn something. Like maybe it could damage the stator, could damage the voltage regulator, etc. Um, and this was due to the fact that probably there's probably a dead cell in the battery. That energy is going to the battery. It's not taking the energy. It's pushing off some really high voltage numbers coming off the voltage regulator and stator. So anyway, the simple solution was replace the battery and you should be good to go. Now this is not going to, obviously there are problems that can happen with your PTO electric clutch that are not battery related, but pay attention to the events that happened here. This is the first start of the season. Your battery is dead. Now, your PTO clutch system is operating very erratically every time you try to use it. Put the two together. What's going on? You have a battery issue that is affecting your PTO clutch. Now, if you're just, there's been no issues with your battery, everything's been fine, you may have a different issue. There may actually be an issue with the clutch itself, which does happen. There's tons of videos to diagnose this. But there are way too many people out there who are having issues with their mowers behaving really poorly, stalling out, dying with their, uh, when they engage the blades on these electromagnetic clutch PTOs and are taking their engines apart, trying to get to the state, replacing this, putting a new clutch on, um, you know, messing with wires and all that. 
when there's a good chance the problem is you just have a bad battery um so and to diagnose an electrical system you need a healthy battery anyway and if you've had to jump start your mower your battery's dead so instead of ripping your mower apart and stressing about it just put a battery on your mower and see what happens you may be pleasantly supply, surprised that your issues no longer exist anymore and there's quite a bit of stuff on the forms out there i found these lawnmower forms of people having some issues um with their mowers and a few people are like hey man just place the battery and it solved the problem that's the battery right there on this mower i just went down a tractor supply um and i purchased the largest battery that they had hoping that would you know uh, maybe last a little bit longer be a little better for the mower and i do have to say that the starter on the mower definitely enjoys the larger uh, capacity battery as it's able to supply more amps to the starter which makes it happy but anyway i hope this helps someone saves them some frustration they're not tearing their engine apart trying to get the stator and buy all these parts and maybe just maybe think about maybe the issue is the battery um, and that's all you need to do but anyway guys until next time i hope you have a good day